Hi, and welcome to another episode of Strength and Balance. This class is geared towards improving your upper body, lower body, and core strength to improve balance and function. Balance improves with practice, so every session we plan to improve your overall mobility and challenge you in different ways. Your newfound confidence will translate into improved function and participation in activities that keep you engaged and independent. Now, the instructor will note at the beginning of each class if there's any equipment that's needed. It could be something like a water bottle, a hand weight, a hand towel, or a strap. Whatever it is, you need a chair and a counter. Be safe. Be fit. Enjoy. There are over 50 recreation facilities, both large and small, across the Ottawa region. There are four centres that offer programs only for those 50 plus. A large range of programs meeting the needs for older adults are also offered throughout the city at a number of different locations. For more information, visit register.ottawa.ca. Hello, my name is Janet McGeehan. Nice to meet you. And I'd like to introduce Janice and Joan. So Joan will be doing the exercises standing and Janice will be doing the exercises from the chair. So please join me and here we go. Let's come into a gentle march. So shoulders are back and down. We want to lengthen through the crown of the head and just a gentle march. Now, if you don't want to lift your feet all the way off of the floor, you can just lift the heels and work up onto those toes. Let's take a deep breath in together and exhale fully. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale fully. Now we're gonna change that march. One, two, three with the top. Now you always work at your own pace. Nothing should hurt. Keep that body tall. Engage through the core. Four more. And three, two, last one. Heel dig. One, two, three, heel dig. Heel dig. So we wanna lift up the toes, tap with the heel, and feel the stretch, the back of the leg. Four, three, two, and one, just the heel dig. Now let's change the arms and pull back. Now you can start making this a little bit wider if you like. Working side to side. Maybe increase the arms and squeeze the shoulders. And if it feels okay in your body, maybe bring those arms a little bit higher. And four, and three, and two, step, touch. So we bring the feet together, in and out. Add the arms. Looking good. Let's bring the hands behind our back. Open the chest. And now reach for your ankle. Now if that's too much to reach for the ankle, just toe tap back. And again, you choose with the arms. They can be up a little higher. Keep them low if you need to. And go back to your step touch. Now toe tap, pull across. We're gonna add a little squat and lift. Squat and lift. Squat and lift. Four, three, two, go back to your march. Good. Now let's go back to that heel dig. Pull, pull, pull. Now we're gonna double it up. One, two, one, two. Heel dig. Four more. And three, two. Now you can stay here singles or 
add a slight knee lift. So working a little bit more on that balance and you wanna feel the engagement in the abdominal, especially transverse abdominis. Okay, so stay in the heel dig if you wish or bring it up a little bit. Four, three, two, let's go back to the heel dig right here, heel dig. Now let's take it a little wider. Again, you choose the arm that you want. This is Tarzan arms. You could do a tap if you like. We have four more and three, two. Now let's bring those knees up again. Here we go. Okay, it's a choice. You can stay here if you prefer or take it up like Joan. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, toe tap. Ah, right here. Reach across. Now let's reach a little bit further. So like we're reaching to the top of the cupboard. Reach to the top of the cupboard. And four more. Three, two, let's go step touch right here, step touch. Now let's bring the foot a little bit behind. So now we're gonna focus a little bit more on the glute. So Janice is pulling her heel back and working a little bit more of the hamstring. Okay, and we're gonna work a little bit more of the glute. So I'm gonna come sideways. Squeeze the glute as you lift. Squeeze the glute and lift. Now you can always stay here, pulling back. Four, three, two. Go back to step touch. Now toe tap, toe tap. Now let's swing the arms. And now TikTok, again, we're gonna focus on that balance. Lift up through the hip, lift, lift, lift. Now remember, you can always stay here if you prefer. Okay, working medial glute, tighten the core. Four, three, two, back to our march. Excellent. Keep it here. Now let's come back to those knee lifts. So now we're gonna add a little bit of a kick. Kick out with the heel and that helps to protect the knee. Okay, so we wanna lift and kick. Keep the foot flexed. And you can stay here if you choose. One, two, Four more, three, two, go back to the heel dig. Pull those elbows back. Now let's take it into a march, let's march it out. We're gonna come all the way up onto those toes, nice and tall, so lift, 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 all the way up. We're gonna add some squats, so plant the feet, come down, Push into your heels, lift up, down. Push into the heels, lift up. Now, if you're not comfortable doing this, you can always put a chair in front of you to help you lift up. And we're gonna come up onto our toes. So if balance is a bit of an issue, use a chair in front. Down and lift, four more. Lift up and three, lift up, go two, Lift up, last one, and march it out. Shake all that out. We'll go back to those heel digs. Here we go. Now I really like the heel digs because we're working the quads. It's the same as doing a kick. And we're getting a nice stretch in the back of the leg. Now let's do one and two and three holds. One, two, three, Hold. One, two, three. Give a hold. And one, two, 
three, give a hold. Again, one, two, three, give a hold. Last time, one, two, three, give a hold. Nice work. Okay, let's come back to our TikTok. TikTok, nice and slow, stretching all that out. Good. Now let's do a double, one and two, one and two. Again, one, two. This one is really good to help us strengthen those obliques. So if we tend to have a little bit of a fall to the one side, those obliques, having been there before in this position, will help pick you up. Two more. Last one, toe tap. Now we're gonna go to an ankle touch in front. Go. Beautiful. Double up. Four more. And three. Go two. Last one. March it out. Good, uh, stay with the march. So when we come back from break, please bring either soup cans, two soup cans, or water bottles so that we can use this for our weights for the second segment. So I look forward to seeing you in a few minutes. Okay, grab your stuff, thank you. There are over 50 recreation facilities, both large and small, across the Ottawa region. There are four centres that offer programs only for those 50 plus. A large range of programs meeting the needs for older adults are also offered throughout the city at a number of different locations. For more information, visit register.ottawa.ca. Welcome back. So I hope you have water bottles or soup cans and or nothing because you don't need to use anything or you can have hand weights if you have some. So welcome back to the second part of the show and now we're going to be focusing more on strength training. So the first one to start off we're going to go back to those squats again. So these guys are going to hold their weights and we're just going to come down and push up. Now I'm going to show you how you would do it on, so keep going, Joan. Okay, so if we wanted to do it from the chair, we're gonna push down and then relax. And push down and then relax. Okay, so keep going, we're gonna do four more. So this is really beneficial to the glute, it's a functional movement, right? We need it. So this one's really awesome. I do wanna point out a couple things though. Please make sure that you press to the outside of your feet because that keeps the knee safe. So we want to come down, push to lift, and squeeze through the glute. Come down, push to lift. We'll do a couple more. Down, push. Okay, last one. And the hips, of course, go back. All right, that's the last one for now. So let's get into some arm positioning. So the first one we're going to do is an over the shoulder. So we want to relax the shoulders and lift the arms to the sky. Now, if that's not available to you, just bring those arms out to wherever it works for you. We're gonna do a set of 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if that's enough for you, stop there. 10, 11, and 12. Now let's just have a little shake and a little roll. Now I'm gonna ask Janice just to scoot up a little bit on her chair, because when our back is against the chair, it actually, it's the chair that's supporting us. And this way now Janice's core is gonna work a little bit harder. So the next one we're going to work on is a lateral lift. So the arms are gonna come straight out to the side. So keep a slight bend in the elbow. Take a deep breath in, exhale lift. And bring it down, exhale lift. And now we're on three. 
Now you can always do this, keep going ladies, single arm if you prefer, or if you find that it's too much. Five and six. Relax those shoulders, slight bend in the knees if you're standing. And nine, 10, 11, and 12. Shake it out. And now we're gonna come forward. So we're going to be working the front deltoids, slight bend, and stand the arms out. We only want them to come up to the height of our shoulder. Okay, so here we go, deep breath in, exhale, lift for one, and bring it down. And two, make sure the shoulder's away from your ears. Three, and four, five. We wanna keep our weight in our heels as well, so that we keep that nice alignment through the body. 10, 11, last one. All right, shake it out. Now I'm gonna ask Joan to come into a lunge with her right foot forward. And I'm gonna come onto the chair. And we're going to do, we're going to do now a row. So bring one foot forward, Joan, and the other foot back. We'll start with our right arm. I'm gonna bring my left arm across and we're gonna pull the elbow to the sky. So here we're working on mid back. We wanna give a big squeeze, and this helps, like when we're strengthening the rhomboids, this helps to keep our shoulders back. And that's five and six. Keep squeezing. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Excellent, come on up tall. Always try and have like a little adjustment in between and if you need to, you could even, you know, give yourself a hug just to stretch out through that back. Now let's head to the other side. So Joan's now gonna bring the other foot forward. We'll come down onto our elbow and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Great. Come on up. Have a shake. Now we're going to do some toe raises next. Give those arms just a little bit of a break. So Janice is going to show you how to do it from the chair. I'm going to use a chair and Joan will do it without any chair. So I'll come sideways. So toe raises, you wanna put your stuff down or oh, you can hold it too. All right, so here we go. Take a deep breath in. We wanna make sure we have a nice alignment. We're gonna come all the way up onto those toes and then bring it back down. And then all the way up and bring it down. Couple more. Now, if you wanted to challenge your balance a little bit, still using the chair, you could have one finger on the chair, maybe one hand off. Okay, let's do five more. Five, four, keep reaching up. Three, two, and one. Now we'll move into lunges. I'm gonna use my chair to help with the lunges. Janice is gonna bring her foot forward, okay, and the other foot back. So her lunge will be a little bit different. So we'll start with our right foot back. Step the right foot back, and then push to come up. And let's do the other side. So just a few things to be mindful of. You wanna make sure that your knee lines up with the ankle and your knees do not go over your toes and push up. And it doesn't have to be a big movement. Down and up, down and up. But again, a functional movement, right, to help us get up, down and up. Let's do four more, four and three, two, let's make this one our last one. Excellent, okay, shake those legs out. Now let's come back to the toe raises. So with the toe raise, 
We can do one foot, lift up, bring it down. Lift up, bring it down. Now for Joan, it's gonna be a lot more balance work. So you could try it here too. Or just stay with the one foot and come into maybe a tree pose and try to work on that balance. So toe could be back. And Janice could do with a one leg lift. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's do the other side. Here we go. Lift it up. And release that out. We're gonna take our lunges to the side now. So it would be a jumping jack. So we're gonna shift our weight out to the side and then bring it in. And then do the other side. Shift it out and bring it in. One more time, just for a practice one here. Good, bring it out. Now, if you wish, we can come into a nice little side lunge. The hips go back, push down to lift up. And we'll do the other side. Bend into that knee, lift up. Here we go. Push down to rise up. We do want to be mindful that the knee does not come over the toes. Lift it up and out. Lift it up. Okay, a couple more. Bring it up, out. So we're really working those inner thighs, the adductors. They have a tendency to be a weaker muscle and they're tight. Shake it out. Okay, shoulder rolls here, bring it up. Nice big movements. We're gonna stretch out everything now. So bring one leg forward, the hips go back and let's reach for the toes. It's a beautiful stretch. We wanna make sure we keep the hips square. Reaching for the toes. Okay, bring the head up. Lift up the knee and rotate your ankle. And the other way. And then take that leg behind you and push into your heel. So you wanna push down into the heel. Now I don't know if they can see you, I'm gonna move your chair. Oh, there we go, push into the heel. Okay, now bring it up and let's head to the side. So step your foot out. You wanna keep those toes pointing forward and we press gently to the outside of the foot and you come down to where it's comfortable for you. And come on up and we'll head to the other side. Okay, so let's bring the foot up. Gently bring the hips back. And lift up the chest, rotate through the ankle and head the other way. Take that foot behind you. Okay, and we're gonna press into the heel and step it forward. Okay, roll the shoulders a couple more times. And then bring one arm across your chest. Relax the shoulder, rotate through the wrist. And head the other way. So it's giving us a nice stretch through the shoulder girdle. Let's do the other side, bring the arm across. Relax the shoulder, rotate through the wrist. And head the other way. And we'll bring our hands behind our back and drop your chin to your chest. Here, releasing tension through the neck. As you inhale, bring the head up and then take your head to one side. Feel that stretch through the neck, come back through to center and then the other side. And come on back through to center. Open up those legs and now we're gonna do a hula hoop. Rotate all the way around. And head the other way. Excellent. Now let's lift up that knee 
and we're just gonna gently cross it over. This one's actually better to do from the chair. Joan can show you though how to do a figure four with it. So we're gonna bring that leg up if it's available to you and then just gently lean forward. This helps to release through the hip. Excellent, bring the chest up. We'll release that leg down and do a gentle twist to one side. And come on back through to center and we're gonna head to the other leg. Here we go, bring that leg up. Take a deep breath in and hinge it forward. Now I wanna show you too, a way that you can bring this leg up if you can't lift it up. You cross it over, just use your pants uh, to bring that up. Okay, we lean forward, releasing through that hip. Take a deep breath in and let's head to the other side. And slowly come on back through to center. Couple more shoulder rolls. And go the other way. And thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the program and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this class, please join us again and you're also most welcome to register and attend in person at various centers across the city of Ottawa. We have so many community centers offering programs. You can call us at 613-798-8927 and someone will help you find a program that's suitable for you right in your vicinity. Or you can also visit and register through ottawa.ca.